Well, the main storyline surrounding the, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings early in the season is the surprising fall of second-year cornerback Cameron Tiny Dantzler. He was a surprise game day in active week one against the Bengals, effectively being the cornerback six on the team. He was even involved in some trade rumors with the Niners. And it's very curious considering how strong of a 2020 rookie campaign Dantzler boasted at the end. Even though he missed time thrice with injuries, also he got lit up early on in his tenure with the Vikes. But there was a stretch late in the season where Dantzler was PFF's number one graded cornerback in the league, and his quarterback rating when thrown at was 31.1. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Very promising heading into the future. And even though the Vikings signed a veterans Patrick Peterson, Bashad Breeland, and return of the Mac. Everyone headed into camp thought, okay, Dancer's still going to be cornerback one, still going to be cornerback of the future. All the bets are on one-year mercenary deal. So, yeah, it's still going to be 27's world. Well, uh, about that. Unless there's something behind the scenes that we don't know uh, about. I mean, we're not at practice every single day. There was nothing that you saw in training camp or preseason that screamed, hey, Dantzler is now a fringe roster guy. I mean, sure, other guys performed well. Chris Boyd, Harrison Hand definitely stepped up and frankly played a little bit better than Dantzler. But he didn't sink like a stone. Like, Dantzler was not just like bust bust, bust, get out of here. No, but to go from cornerback one to start the offseason down to a game day inactive, he didn't see that, right? And if there is some friction, not saying that there is, again, both sides need to take ownership of it and stop Mickey Mousing around. Zimmer and the team, maybe they're harsh on him. Maybe they're trying to send a message. But now, after they sent the message, you got to bring him back. You have to give him a path to regain his status. Dancer, all you can do is work. I mean, if there is something going on behind the scenes, Get that in check and just work and grind and get back to it. Both sides need each other to make the Vikings the happiest place on earth this season. And the Vikes need that alpha cornerback one that Dantzler is capable of being. And Dantzler needs to be that dude or his career is hanging by a thread that's thinner than a needle. And with Harrison Hand missing practice with a hamstring, Dantzler may be active versus the Cardinals' vaunted passing attack. And yes, he will play special teams. I mean, Zimmer's very smug and passive-aggressive. Talk about the role of reserve cornerbacks. Dantzler is a sure tackle. I'm sure that he will be perfectly fine on special teams. And with Breland struggling, Boyd not doing much better uh, when he came in for Breland and Patrick Peterson being the elder statesman, Dancer will probably be needed during the 17 friggin' game marathon this year. So both sides need to get it together. Do not give up on Cameron Dancer yet. Too talented of a kid. Just, mm, just don't do it, man. Yeah. Uh, beer thoughts. Not giving up on 27. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we're at that work, pull a little something the Venmo. But till next time, Skull, production value.